Hey guys, so this is Carol again. I've told you I'm gonna vlog a lot. It's becoming a, a passion and slash obsession of mine. Anyways, uh, so I did the favorites video. I wanted to show you guys uh, what I'm gonna use to prime this piece of uh, particle wood that is from uh, the desk that I'm actually working on. I think this is probably around like 15 by 20 ish. That's probably what the dimensions are, but I just wanted to show you what I'm going to use and then I'm going to show you how it turns out. I would show you how I do it, but it can't hold the camera and prime it at the same time um, because like I said, this is my phone. I don't have like a tripod or anything. So again, shameless plug. If you donate, <laughs> I could have those things and then I could do better videos and more in-depth videos to help you guys out. And if you're just interested and just because I want to do it, because it's fun. Anyways, so like I said, I have this particle wood that I have from um, the desk that I took apart. I have this catalyst tool um, that I told I talked about in the video, my I think the part one video of my some of my favorite supplies to use. I'm going to use this Liquitex gesso and this is in white. So I'm using white because I, I love bright colors and I really want the colors to pop. There are some times if I'm using like real like solid wood and it's not treated or anything, I won't um, use a white gesso because I like the the green. This particular instance, especially since this is an actual wood, I am going to prime it with white gesso so I can really make the colors pop. Um, I Because the when you use the, the particle wood, the particle wood, this is an extra piece, this is what it looks like before I put the, the um, spackle on it. And I figured since I, for quite a few reasons, one of them being I don't really know what I'm doing with the spackle, <laughs> and I just kind of went for it, I figured I'd just work with this whole idea of um, being like a little bit rustic, a little bit undone, like imperfect, because that's my kind of my style anyway. But it's not a perfect, you can't see it. There you can kind of see it a little bit, but... I just took the um, this this spackle and I put it around all of the edges, um, and now I'm going to prime this, and then I'll let you guys see how it turns out afterwards. So yeah, stay tuned. It's not quite done, at least not to me. As you can see, I because I'm not using a brush, I am using a catalyst tool. Um, I and I'm not using a brayer either. I am not a stickler about having a really smooth primed surface to start because I like texture and so I just kind of work it around until I'm satisfied with the way that the base looks and until it feels right to me basically. I'm very much like artsy fartsy about <laughs> my process. I just do what feels right and when I'm done I'm done, when I'm not I'm not. For some people it, they, it feels like, uh, I guess it's instincts. For me, it is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit lets me know when I'm living in a town called Too Much Re Village. And he also lets me know when I'm not done and when to keep working. And so I am going to keep working this around until I'm satisfied with the texture. Um, and then I'm going to let it dry. If you watch any videos about like how to start a painting or like how to prime. I suggest to watch those videos because they're going to show you how to do it the right way, quote unquote. Um, this is not that video. You know, you watch that video to see what the rules are and then you can watch this video to see how to break the rule. Start with a good foundation, what you consider a good foundation. I hope this was maybe inspiring to somebody, maybe it give you a different idea if you already paint, you've never even thought about trying this maybe it'll make you be a little bit more experimental let me know if you want any more videos like this too i'm just experimenting a lot and just doing as many videos as i can get used to talking to a camera uh and it's helping a lot so i hope you guys enjoy it and i'll talk to you later bye